So here is a sample problem about projectile. A projectile is launched with a speed of 40 meters per second at an angle of 30 degrees above the horizontal as shown in the figure below. The projectile lands on a plateau three seconds later. The height of the plateau is most nearly, so this is our setup. So this means that this is our VI and it is launched at an angle of 40 or 30 degrees with respect to the horizontal and it takes 3 seconds for the projectile to reach the plateau and we need to solve for this height right here. So to solve this problem, recall the equations of motions that is actually applicable for the y component of a projectile and those equations of motions are the following so we have the final vertical velocity or we call it vfy is equal to the initial vertical velocity plus gt the second equation would be delta y is equal to viyt plus one half gt squared and the third is the square of the final vertical velocity so the squ uh, the square of the final vertical velocity the square of final vertical velocity is equal to the square of the initial vertical velocity plus 2 g delta y all right so obviously we would be able to utilize the second equation to solve this problem because from vi we could actually obtain our viy and we are also given time and uh, we know acceleration due to gravity and we need to solve for delta y so we could use the second equation so now let us solve for the initial vertical velocity viy and according to the equation viy is just equal to vi sine theta so substituting our vi is given to be 40 meters per second and our angle is 30 degrees so we say 40 times sine of 30 degrees is equal to so our viy is in fact equal to 20 meters per second and now we would use this value to solve for the height of the plateau so we will have we will use the equation again second equation y delta y is equal to viyt plus one half gt squared so we substitute our values the initial vertical velocity or viy is 20 multiplied by the time it takes for the projectile to land on the plateau which is three seconds plus one half g and our g here should be negative 9.8 once again if we are dealing with equations of motion the g should be negative 9.8 and our t is three seconds so don't forget to square it and this is actually equal to five, uh, 15 point nine meters but then the question is asking nearly so we cho we choose the closest answer and according to the choices should be 15 meters so there you have it